Damien uh, could quite get uh, manage pole position, but uh, race one uh, win, big win for you. Yeah, no, it went well. We got to the front off the start. I um, uh, made a bit of a mistake at turn one in the first corner, but uh, no, got the lead back and uh, yeah, from there on just led from the front, which was good. Got the checker flag. So they put out some uh, consistent laps and opened up a, a good lead by the end. Yeah, no, that was that was good. Pretty uh, pleased with that uh, bit of consistency in the uh, driving. So yeah, happy with that. A few problems with the car coming into the weekend. Yeah, we had a few problems. Uh, like most people, I think, talking to a few people in the paddock, but yeah, we had a bit of power steering problems from the last round, gearbox issues, so yeah, we uh, had a few late ones this week getting everything ready, so it's good to get the uh, result after all the hard work. Paul, uh, third place uh, in race one. Certainly uh, not a bad effort, considering you've been out of the seat for a little while. Yeah, I um, have been doing a lot of racing these days. The last race that it was uh, Bathurst in February, and a support to the 12 hour. But there's been a fair bit of a gap between then and now, so I think the race yesterday was just sort of a bit of practice getting the eye back in. Well, it's certainly a great effort. How's the car running at the moment? Yeah, the car's running fantastic at the moment, so it keeps doing that for the rest of the weekend. Oh, yeah. good luck for the rest of the weekend. Right, thanks for that. Traveling this weekend? Oh, the car's getting better all the time. I, it's been um, roughly three years since I've been out of it and rebuilding this car. And uh, uh, practice from Friday, um, it was improving on my best, uh, my personal best time. And uh, in that race, there, I was almost a second uh, below my personal best. So I think I need to chase the leading bunch to actually push me along. Um, so I'm still going to see that, that I haven't seen so much brake dust on the front wheels, so you, see, you must have been using them. And I think that was the secret. Uh, so okay. I'm very happy with the way the car's going. It um, could, could possibly uh, uh, need some softer springs at the back for the next race, but we don't have any, so we'll, we'll do the best we can. Oh, good luck for the rest of the weekend. Thank you very much. Bryden, uh, certainly uh, race two over. How's the uh, car travelling? Yeah, not too bad. It's uh, got a few little niggly problems, but we're having you know, a good race, having a lot of fun. Had a bit of a race with a few of the interstaters. Nearly ran into Dave Skilton in the 323 on the first lap, so action packed, but yeah, having fun. Now, you, you made the comment you're a little bit slower than uh, uh, you'd expect the car to be. Uh, motor's a little tired. Yeah, it's calling out for an overall. Um, did a PB yesterday. Got into the 24, so I was wrapped with that, but um, yeah, it's getting the stage we need to pull it out and uh, make it go a bit quicker. Oh, well, good luck for the rest of the round. Thanks, Pete. See you later. Calvin, uh, tell us a little bit about uh, the race two incident. 
Yeah, um, race two was a quite eventful race. There was a, a good group of us at the front running, uh, there was actually about eight cars in a row that were having absolutely fantastic nice. One of the South Australian boys, uh, Brad Fox, is a very fast lancer. He was in front of me for a while, and I got by him, and then um, he appears to have had either a major failure, um, or I think the track might just got a little bit better of him, but it's hard to say, you know, so, so benefit of the doubt, the major track failure. On the last lap, one of our four corners to go, he hit me over a rough wind rise, going about um, 200 k's or so, and, took himself out and uh, caused a fair bit of damage to me. I managed to finish the race at seven and um, unfortunately he won't, he's not racing for the rest of the weekend. There's quite a bit of damage to his car. So. You came off quite lucky con considering. Yeah, look, I think it was very lucky. He didn't actually hit one of any of the suspension points, but there's a fair bit of panel damage that's uh, going to keep uh, local panel being uh, happy for a little bit, I think. Good luck with it. Thank you. Dave, last time here at Sandown, the car was a little uh, worse for wear, obviously all straight and back on the track. Yeah, a bit sad, I was like coming a bit too hot-headed over the back straight and lost the arse end and it went straight in the armco. Um, been absolutely flat out for the last month, to, like straightening it, end up with a bent rail and radio support and a few other mechanical problems that got damaged and uh, yeah, look, everything seems all right. It's hard to get a bit motivated for this weekend, but, um, you know, qualified 25th, but it'll slowly coming up from, you know, finishing race 1, 17th, to uh, finishing that race, I think it was 13th, I think, or 12th, something yep, like yep. that. Um, the car's eluding its class, that's the main thing. It's, it's back in front of eluding its class, and, uh, yeah, look, it's a really good first year for me in this car. No, excellent. How straight's the car come up? Yeah, the yeah, car's good, car's good. There's no dramas. Well, um, thanks, thanks to Tom and Mr Mazda Wrecker for uh, actually doing all the work on it. It's been brilliant and, um, yeah, happy. Good luck for the rest of the weekend. Thanks, Mike. See ya. Rob, uh, two races over and uh, the uh, mechanical issues have hit again. Uh, yeah, we've done the gearbox this time. Um, it was always a weak link in the build of the car. It's lasted longer than we thought it would. Uh, uh, we're out for the weekend, unfortunately. Any chances of uh, making it to the uh, Phillip Island rounds? Uh, no. What, what we've decided to do is park it for the rest of the year and we'll uh, go and search a proper dog box for it. Bit of a shame. Oh, well, it was on the cards from when we started, so uh, not unexpected. Oh, good to so, uh, have you back again for next year. Yep, we'll be there. Terrific. Thanks, Rob. Thanks, mate. Bye. So, Adrian, uh, race weekend here at Sandown. We've had uh, two races so far. How's it travelling? Yeah, it's been a, a bit of a tough weekend for us. We've um, been in the wars for our first race one and again this morning in race two. So we've got cleaned up on the on the, on the front right-hand side with um, one of the E30 drivers, Michael Stewell. And um, then this morning... Um, had a bit of a uh, tangle with uh, the, the Datsun 1200. I'm not sure the driver's name, but the little red one. So, yeah, definitely been in the battles this weekend. But um, the car, yeah, was, had a few issues yesterday trying to um, work out the new ride height we had to adjust to. So, sort of nailed that, did a bit of work um, this morning on that, and the car seems to be handling pretty much where it was and started um, dropping our times as a result of that. So it's been, yeah, a bit hard. I don't, don't like to have any dents in the car, but that's racing, isn't it? Yeah, certainly. There's uh, two more races to go. How's it shaping up? Yeah, we yeah, worked our way up to um, from 27th yesterday and finished that second race at 20th. So we're right in the, right in the mix now. We'll hopefully um, claim a few more E30 scalps. Well, good luck for the rest of the weekend. Cheers, mate. Thank you.
Chris, uh, three races down, one to go. Uh, finishing in the top ten so far. Yeah, yeah, just, only just, just making it in the top ten. Um, yeah, pretty happy with it so far. And there's a lot of fast cars here, haven't said that. Uh, the times are down a little bit this weekend uh, as opposed to the last round. Yeah, I did my PB yesterday with a with an unusual setup, but I just can't seem to get it back today. So whether or not ties, I just think they've had their last their last meeting. I mean, I've got a pretty good run out of them. These uh, things have been really really good. This car, you know, uh, I put them on at Winston, so to get that sort of mileage out of them, I reckon it's pretty impressive. Yeah, so, well done. Still uh, one race to go, you'll be out there? I'll be out there, absolutely, yeah. I've got to uh, keep my points up. So, yeah. Uh, our little birdie tells me you might be leading the uh, late model, uh, or oh, sorry, early the model. Early model class A, class yeah, a. that's correct, yeah. Yeah, so that's a pretty good achievement. I'm happy with that. Good luck with it, Chris. Thanks very much, Pete. See you next time. Robert, uh, three races today and uh, race three, third on the grid. Great effort. I'm oh, pretty pleased with that, actually. Then again, I've been given a good car by uh, John Birkin. Um, the car's uh, a lot faster, I think, than what I am. Uh, I haven't raced for a couple of years, and he's doing this one to keep the uh, license going. Okay. Uh, and in the past, I've been racing dinosaurs, a uh, Valiant Charger, and it's snowy. <laughs> and it's a bit of a change to get into a sports car that... Uh, big change. Yeah, a real big change, and I'm still adjusting to it. How are you enjoying it? How are you enjoying it? Uh, yeah, uh, we had a few problems uh, initially with the tire show. I felt like I wanted to jump out of the car, and uh, we had that problem yesterday. Today, uh, they've got on top of it and got it fixed, so now I can drive up the straight and keep the foot flat. We were backing off halfway up yesterday. Um, yeah, so it's getting better, and um, uh, the, the drivers are uh, starting to come to grips with it, but uh, yeah, like I say, the car's faster than I am. I need to come up to speed a bit yet. Oh, one more race to go. Good luck for it. Thank you. I will need it. Simon, uh, three races down, one more to go. How's the car travelling so far? I'm enjoying racing. Yeah, really enjoying, really enjoying racing. Uh, yeah, we tried some spring clamps on the rear and to try and stiffen up a bit, but it was uh, binding a little bit, but it was skipping in the rear. I couldn't get the power down and, yeah, it felt nervous off the turn, so took them back off back to where it was last time I came here for a test. And, uh, yeah, it's getting... I'm feeling more, more comfortable in the car each time I sit in it, so... We're not probably improving the car, but I'm feeling more comfortable and going a little bit faster. So, yeah, I've got the new engine in it for this round. Okay. Just a little bit different, just a little bit bigger in the valves. And yeah, pretty stand, pretty much the same, but yeah, just good fun, good fun. Good luck for the uh, race four. Thanks very much, Peter. Thank you. So Lee, uh, four races this weekend, uh, good weekend for you? Yeah, excellent, it's uh, completed every race, so um, we're pretty happy with that. 
been quick every every run. And a little birdie tells me our PB in the uh, final race. Yeah, 22.3, which is good for us. We're sort of driving a brick compared to the RX-7, so uh, aerodynamically we suffer a bit, but um, we're up with that and uh, we can build on it, so we'll be quicker, don't worry. Car's travelling well? Fantastic. It's, it's a beast. Love it. You'll be out for uh, Philip Island? Definitely. Yeah, definitely be there. I uh, look forward to it. Congratulations, Thank you. Good weekend. Thanks very much. Thank you. Damien, uh, great weekend for you, round win. Yeah, no, it went really well. We uh, didn't have too many dramas throughout the weekend, so it uh, meant for a uh, more enjoyable time and, uh, yeah, uh, really happy with the round win and a uh, couple of race wins to, to boot, so that was good. Good uh, setup. The car certainly seemed to be getting quicker and quicker as the weekend went along. Yeah, no, we just got to get a handle on uh, the driver, so the car's going right, so you just got to steer it uh, Steer it as well as you can, so that's all we're working on at the moment. So just uh, fine tuning, so it's good to be out to clear air to be able to do that. No, fantastic. You make it to Bowl? Yep, yeah, it should be down there, yeah. Look forward to it. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Pete. Cool. Second for the round, uh, certainly a great effort, uh, considering you haven't been behind the wheel for uh, a few months. Yeah, I was pretty happy with that. I was a little bit surprised, to be honest, because I don't do a lot of driving these days, and I can feel the driving is improving throughout the weekend, so, you know, obviously a little bit rusty in the driving department, but the overall result I was quite happy with, to be honest. So, are you now you going to make it to uh, Phil Bowling this uh, year? Uh, maybe Isle Magic at the end of the year. It sort of comes down to money, really, and it costs a fair bit of money to run these cars. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, congratulations on uh, second for the round and hope to see you out the track again. No worries. Um, yeah, just like to thank my sponsor, Hybrid Automotive, and also Improved Production Racing Association of Victoria, and our sponsors, New Line Homes and Educational Living and DLL Photography, and of course, Yokohama Tires, which are always fantastic. Thanks.